going to okay, make. Dad. We are going to make chocolate cake with homemade yeah, chocolate okay. frosting. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 350. I apologize if you hear the fan, but it is. Um, it's nice outside. My window's open. And that's outside. Okay, so first in a big bowl, you're going to add in two cups of sugar. Okay, and then you're going to want one and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour. You're going to need three-fourths cup of um, unsweetened Hershey's cocoa or whatever cocoa powder you want to use. You just need a three-fourths cup of that. I personally like using the Hershey's cocoa. It's what my family's always grown up using, so this is a staple in my baking. Then you need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So there's one. Okay, and then you need, again, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. All right, and then you need one teaspoon of salt. Once you have all your dry ingredients together, you're gonna just mix that in. So take your mixer and just combine all those dry ingredients together. So to your dry ingredients, once they're all mixed together, you're gonna add in two eggs, one cup of milk, half a cup of vegetable oil, then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Hey, that okay, and then last, you're gonna do one cup of boiling hot water. And you're just gonna mix that all together. Your batter's gonna be really runny. Do not freak out, that is normal. Um, so at 350, once you have your oven preheated, you're gonna go ahead and pour this into a greased um, nine by 13 pan, or you can do two nine by nine baking pans. Um, and you're gonna cook that for about 30 to 40 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. It's gonna vary, um, but check it in the center. Um, but if you would rather, you could do cupcakes, and they're gonna bake for 20 to 30 minutes. In my oven at 350, only took 20 minutes. So um, they are definitely done. We're gonna go ahead and let them cool and then we will start on that frosting. All right, and there is the cake. That took closer to about 40 minutes to do the cake. So it's a lot faster for you to do cupcakes if you're in a hurry. Okay guys, so now that the cake has cooled down, unfortunately I pulled it out. Half of it was cool, but then once I started to flip the pan, it, um, it separated so my cake isn't perfect. <laughs> because half of it was still hot but anyway we're gonna work on the frosting now you're gonna need one stick of butter or then you need to melt that or you can put it in a saucepan whatever you prefer to do but you need melted butter okay so unfortunately I dropped my camera and um, it shut off and did not save the clip that I was filming so basically all that you miss is after the butter is melted you need to add in two-thirds cups of your Hershey cocoa powder or whatever cocoa powder you have um, and then mix that up really good you can use an electric mixer if you want to that's completely up to you so the step that I'm at right now let me go ahead and step down my camera and hopefully I don't drop it again so the step that I'm at right now is you need to take confectioner sugar and you're gonna need about three cups of that give or take and I usually put in one cup and then I have my third cup of milk over here and I add in just a little bit at a time. All right, so you just keep mixing that in. And you might have to add more milk. You might have to add less milk. You might have to add a little bit more powdered sugar. It's really gonna depend on that consistency that you're looking for. Some people like a thicker frosting. Other people like a thinner frosting. So just look for that consistency that you want. Okay, so the next thing that I do is I kind of check it. It's still too bitter for me. I don't like a bitter chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in another cup of sugar. So now we're on two cups of powdered sugar. This is where it gets messy. And then I'm gonna add in the rest of that milk, that one third cup. To add in 
a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, I just eyeball it. <laughs> okay, then I add in my last cup of sugar, and this is so much sugar, I know, but. I can't buy this, So my last cup of powdered sugar. It's gonna go in there, and then this is where I add splashes of milk. All right, guys, so that's the consistency I look for. It is very much like a frosting. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. Um, that's kind of the consistency I like. So really, once you add in that last cup, you kind of still have to add a couple splashes of milk to get it to that consistency. Another thing I will say is if you like more of that dark chocolate taste, don't add so much sugar. Um, the more sugar you're gonna get it, the, the sweeter it's gonna get, the more it's gonna taste like a milk chocolate. Um, whereas the less sugar, the more it's gonna taste like a dark chocolate. So definitely do one cup, taste it, see if it's still too bitter for you. Then keep adding sugar until it gets back and forth between the sugar and the milk and um, you'll get it to the flavor that you like. Sometimes I do add another cup and a little bit more milk because sometimes this can still be, still a little too bitter, but I don't know. It's one of those things you have to play with. And there is the cupcake. All done.